हेलो चिल्ड्रन स्कूल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट पंजाब प्रेजेंट्स ई क्लास माय क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस चिल्ड्रन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पैरामीटर ऑफ व्हिच ऑफ द गिवन शेप इज 6 सेंटीमीटर चिल्ड्रन वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट पैरामीटर इज इज द सम ऑफ ऑल साइड्स ऑफ द फिगर सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए वी फाइंड दैट its parameter becomes 8 cm which is incorrect so option b if we add all the sides of rectangle it becomes 10 10 cm but we need 6 cm now let's move to option c 2 cm 2 cm and 2 cm so the parameter becomes 6 cm this is the parameter we want so children our correct option is option c so let's put a tick here the next question is you want to fence the given piece of land how much wire will be needed to do so children here we have been given the piece of land with its dimensions that is 2 meter long and 1 meter wide so to find the length of wire to fence this piece of land we'll need to find its parameter and to find the parameter we will add all its dimensions 2 meter plus 1 meter plus 2 meter then again plus 1 meter it becomes 6 meter so let's find the correct option starting from option a is it 12 meter no option b 6 meter yes this is the correct one because by adding all the sides we get 6 meter here is the next question Which of the figure has 9 square cm of area? Children, it's very easy to find the area from the given squares. We can find the area by counting the squares. In option A, there are 6 squares. So, its area will be 6 square cm. And in option B, there are 9 squares, so it becomes 9 square cm and then in option c it has 8 square cm of area and option d it has also 8 square cm so we need 9 square cm so children which figure has 9 square cm of area yes it is option b so let's put a tick here now the next question is which statement is false here the first option is parameter is the distance around any shape yes of course because we find the parameter by adding all its sides in this way option a is the correct statement now option b area is a part of a plane that a shape occupies yes of course so this is also the true statement now option c area is the sum of length of a shape no it's not like that and option d area is the product of length and breadth of a shape yes it is in this way children which one is the incorrect statement yes it's option c which is false so let's put a tick here now it's time for homework children your homework is you have to practice all these sums and write them in your notebook thank you